Reflection 70B, a new open source model that it's claimed that it's the current top open source model in the world. It's trained using reflection tuning technique developed to enable LLMs to fix their own mistakes. I'm going to explain this reflection tuning in just one minute, but if you took a look to its benchmark and looked at the number, it's quite impressive. It's beating both Claudia Sonata and Obis and Gemini 1.5 Pro and GPT-4 O in some of the benchmark like MMLU and Mass and GSM8K and FEVL. This is impressive if it's true, especially if it's an open source model. So what is reflection tuning that's the author of creating this model, which is named Matt Schumer. I'm going to leave the Twitter link for him in the description. I'm going to try to explain it based on Hacker News comment that I found. The comment described this model, uh, how it works. He say under the hood reflection 70B seems to be a Lama 3.1 fine tune that encourages the model to add sync, reflection, and output uh, tokens and corresponding faces. This is evolution of chain of thought, sync step by step. But instead of being a prompting technique, this fine tuning bakes example of this faces more directly into the model. I think if you created any AI apps logic before, you will see something similar like this in prompts, especially if using something like language chain or creating an agent. We're going to see something similar to the sync reflect and the output when the model interacting with the prompt. He continue explaining, so the model start with the initial draft and reflect on it before issuing the final output. This extra effort spent on talking, which effectively the model sync more, appears to let, let it defeat prompts, which is other strong model for O and C point functionata appear to fumble. So for example, when asked which is the greater 9.11 or 9.9, .9, the reflection 70B model initially gets the wrong answer, then reflect on it, then spits the right output. So in, in simple term, it gives you an answer, it reflects on its answer, not the basically the second token that it generates, and it corrects itself. The model is available at Hugging Face page, Reflection Lama 3.170B, and here there is a link for the model demo if you want to try it out. But unfortunately, if you click it, you will find it give you error that there is too much traffic and they are right now down and they're gonna be up again soon. In order to test this model, I have 10 questions. I'm gonna ask each one of them to the Reflection 70B and the Lama 3.170B and see which model actually is better. My first question is about logic and reasoning. Linda has three sisters, Paul has four sisters. Can Linda and Paul be siblings? The answer should be yes. And let's see it in action. So here is an example of how to reflect. Here it Look to the question first and tell me if Linda and Paul were sibling, they would have the same number of sisters. However, we see that Linda has three sisters. Well, Paul fo has four sisters. This means that they can't be sibling because they don't share the same family. But then it reflects over here. See, wait, I made a mistake in my reasoning. And it tried to do again the same reasoning and it gave me an actual wrong answer. No, Linda and Paul cannot be siblings. So this is basically how reflect work. It gives you an answer, then it reflect on its answer, and it gives you a output. There is a pros and cons of this. There's a pros that it's gonna try to correct itself after it's done. The cons that the the amount of token that it generated here is too much. I mean, like this should be the final answer in terms of amount token generated. But right now it's almost to double of its original token that is generated just to get me to the final answer, which is actually wrong also. The second question is for mass. What is the power? What is five to the power of eight minus six to the power of eight? Double it and add two to the power of three. And the final answer it got me after it's tried to reflect on its final answer, which is here. Wait, I made a mistake in step three. The calculation should be redo it again it's almost trying to re-ask itself once more and give me two minus two 
0.579. The correct answer is very similar to this one, minus 2577974. It's almost, but it's also failed. It's not the correct answer. A normal bus is driving at 56 miles per hour. There is there are three people in the back row and two people in the second last row. What's the minimum number of people in this bus? The number should be six because he just have to add the driver. So it's break it apart. Try to analyze this logic. It got it correct actually. Here is the minimum number of people on the bus is six. This is include the driver, people on the back row, and the second last row, which is correct. It didn't reflect on its own self right now. This is very good in terms of logic and reasoning. Most of the model got these questions wrong. Another mass questions is 5,050 less than 560. Let's see it's here. So it's here one of the reflect. It's actually very good. Reflect on its correct answer, which is there is 457 is not less than 560. In fact, 5,050 is greater than 560. And to double check it, which is reflecting on its current correct answer, it do it, do it calculation and give me confirmation of the right answer. This is really nice. If it's like have been tuned more toward this, less token generated and more on reflection. So far, it's doing very good at mass. So I'm going to give it a mass equation that is difficult. And the correct answer should be this number. 281.2433354 or something near this number. So we're gonna ask it this question. Let's break it down and try to get the correct answer. So the correct answer is really near to the current real one. I don't know how to say it, but it's kind of wrong and right in the same way. I mean, it's, it's very near to the real number. So I'm gonna give it a fail. But it's, it's, uh, it's decent in terms of mass. I'm not going to say it's bad at mass, but it's very nice to get this final results. Now, let's take a look to coding challenge. I have here a simple question that I ask it for in most every single model code a snake game using Bison and by game. So let's ask it this question and see how good it is in generating code. So result of the code, it's actually very bad. There is a lot of wrong writing and errors in the code itself. It's not gonna even run, I think. Yeah, as I expected. So in this term of questions, it failed very bad. Another simple questions is Git ask a lot. And usually when the model is open source, it's bad answer or wrong answer. How many R's in strawberry? And here without reflection, actually it give me the current cor correct answer. Three R's in word strawberry. Here is a tricky question, but it got it wrong. What is the number that drives with the word that we use to describe a tall planet, which is three? It is bond. This is a clever question. This word you're referring you to is tail, which is wrong. Planet, not tail. A bondage. The word rhyme with tail is sail. So the answer is four. I have no idea how it got from sail to four. Anyway, it's a wrong answer. It should be three, three primes with three. This is not a question. It's more of testing its ability to generate a code for a simple page. I wanted to create a landing page for app. Landing page should have a five section header about app feature, download and contact us. I ask it to make this design model using Tailwind, CSS for styling along with, along with HTML and JavaScript. So after a while, I switched to Deep Empress demo and I used it to create this code and it's decent. It's ugly. Yeah, I know, but it's decent. There is nav bar. There is the sections that we talked about. Download iOS and Android. Contact us. This is, this is for understanding what I wanted. This is really good. Here it's show you what's going on in the model. It's thinking to create this landing page for this app. We need to structure it into five main sections and it reflection the structures five main section is correct then finally a reflection and output this is how the model work actually in the background without it you see it let's test out with one more questions building the game of life using bison and buy game and i'm gonna do the same thing with the snake game 
maybe it's generated the code right and the hug and face space was the bad part about it that added all this wrong spaces. I went back and asked it to create the sneak game once more and it worked, but not completely correct. I mean, like, let's check out the sneak, how it's eat the food and it's completely mess it up and nothing happened. And also one of the worst things about this generation of the code, it had to write the code three times. This is just honestly not very optimal for usage when you're coding with it. Like the first one thinking, the second one, I realized that I, I that I, we forgot to add scroll keeping. So, so it went back and added the codes. And finally, here's a complete snake game implemented. And this is the final code that got me. So for the final answer, create a game of life using Bison. It work. Code is not broken. Yeah, it ain't fast, but it's functional. This is the result of the Lama 370B model of the code of life. Actually, it's far superior in terms of code in compared to the Reflection 70B. And this is the result of the app landing page that I asked for Lama 70B. I used the Grok. You can use also the Lama Arena website and it's decent i mean like it's not complete also but it's decent using also tailwind and as you can see five section with a footer sorking so this is the final results compared to comparing reflection 70b to the lama 3.170b the lama 70 the lama model actually failed only on four questions and got two questions successful and better even the reflection 70B. The reflection model actually got five questions wrong, which is kind of odd. I don't understand how this happened because the reflection 70B is created on top of the LMS 3.170B. It doesn't make any sense for me. I am not sure what's going on here. But this leads us to the coming part of this video, which is a problem of this model. I found this post on Reddit by accident when I was browsing for collection information about the model. It said that the reflection Lama 3.170 is actually Lama 3 model, not 3.1. And he provided this test compared, I'm gonna leave it also in the description, and said that the, it's actually a Lama 3 model with LoRa tuning applied on it, not Lama 3.1. What made me doubt about this model actually it's trained on the Lama 3, not the 3.1, is this file. I found it on the reflection Lama 3.170B card page. The configuration JSON actually changed two days ago from the day I'm making this video from Lama 3.70B instruct to Lama 3.170B instruct. And the author said this was a mistake. I am not sure if it's a mistake or he actually used the Lama 370 Boom model because some of the test doesn't make sense that it's... And even to make sure this post is correct, I went out to artificialanalysis.ai page for this model. And somehow, in terms of this model quality, it's far worse than the original model that it's fine-tuned on top of. I mean, like this is the Lama 3.170B instruct, and this is the AB instruct, and this is the reflection. Somehow it's far worse than the actual model that it's created on top of. And in terms of the speed, it's actually almost the same for here for the speed of this model. And in terms of quality without both speed and price, the Lama 3.170B original model actually is better than the reflection 3. 0.170B model. Somehow, I, un I don't understand how this model is worse than the original model that it's fine tuned on top of. If the is this model is good, yeah, it's have some decent part about it, the whole reflection and syncing and try to correct itself. Is it the king of the open source model right now? No. If I convert it to ShareGBT 4.0 or Clearly Sonata, will it win? Of course not. I'm pretty sure of that. But I'm not sure if the hype is real after testing it myself and seeing all this comparison. 
But yeah, you can comment down below of what you think about it, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. I like this video. Of and also you can support me by giving me super thanks if you can. This has been a blast. Thank you for watching once more and see you in the next one.